It's your boy, JaVale McGee, Parking Lot Chronicles. We just won against the Knicks. We got some important people on the show. We got my beautiful sister, Amani McGee Stafford. We got Wardell Curry, and we got Michael Rappaport. Let everybody just make sure that y'all tuning in. Appreciate you. Okay, so let's talk about your podcast. I am Rapport Stereo Podcast. And how you just talk all the time. Talk a lot of shit. And, and curse people out, <laughs> say how you feel, how emotional you are. So you got a record coming out? I do. Like, I, got, I, got, I got singles coming out. I wasn't going to put an album out, but I got singles coming out. All right, obligatory, <laughs> obligatory uh, top five MCs today. I'm just saying, your top five of all time. Some of them could be I, today. It could be Young This One, Little This okay. One, so Shorty right That now, One. Right You're now. JaVel McGee's top five MCs. Right now, it's Drake. That's number one for me. Okay. Because Drake I is your number one MC. You got to think, I was born in 88. So when Tupac was around, I was, he died in what, 95? Yeah. But, I was seven. Okay. So like, I didn't hear as much Tupac, but I've heard every Drake song okay. ever recorded. Okay. Ever. Drake, okay. So Drake is my number one. Okay. Uh, Lil Wayne. Okay. Because I was around for the Because when you stage. said Drake, I'm going to walk the fuck off the <laughs> set, you know? Like, I'm no disrespect to Drake. I'm hey. saying like, in my era, Drake okay, is- Okay, Drake is, is number one. Drake is like Michael Jordan. Yes. Okay, Drake. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I, I got Wheezy. Um, whoo, come okay, on. Okay, here we go. I know it's, you get defensive. I'm, going, I'm adding Biggie and Tupac because no, I do enjoy every song that they ever No, made, no, no, let's but say- But I wasn't around. Let's say That's no Biggie, saying. no Tupac. It's, it's, it's okay, like no that. Biggie, it feels, no everybody Tupac. Everybody feels like, so okay. let's do uh, MCs that are living. Okay, Jay-Z. That's number three. Hove, shout out to Hove. He's spitting straight facts. Yes. You. But let me just say this about Jay-Z, no disrespect. I'm not I'm not listening to a Flow Tree record or Erica Badu record. From Jay-Z, I need those bangers. And that's my favorite MC. This is what I'm saying. Break it down. Jay-Z raps about what's going on now in his life. But can't so you do it Now he's extremely rich. He raps like he's extremely rich. But 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 check this out. You know how when you're in the game yeah. and you guys have the best home court DJ in the league. Facts. They'll play old Jay-Z, they play Nas, they play Tries, they mm -hmm. play Guru, they play, they'll play Drake, they play Lil Wayne. They will never play a song last three minutes of the game off that 444 record because there's no bangers. But what does that mean though? I'm like, just saying. It's not a club banger on that album, not a, so it's not a good like, album. Like Steph's never gonna come up and be like, you know, listen to that. Like, you need like bangers. Like, okay, I got a question for you since ahead. you're talking so much on my show. <laughs> um, <laughs> I told you to shut this shit down. Clay Thompson. What? Trash talking. The, I've, I t I, what, Draymond came on the show, told me the art of trash talking. What did talking. he say? I don't, I don't remember. That was like episode five or something. He's That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a good shit. My talker. question to you is. How, what is the art of trash talking? How did you get into this? I just say whatever the beep I want to say. You know what, JaVel? Growing up, New York City, Manhattan. Oh, that, that's it, right no, there. I'm You're from New York. That's it. it. You're from New York. That's cool. No, You're no, no, because not everybody from New York talks shit. Mostly. But, but growing up in New York City, Manhattan, playing ball in Harlem and Brooklyn, literally, at times, the only white kid. My game wasn't as good as my mouth. Mm -hmm. So you growing up, obviously, you had game. Okay, so that's sort of like a superpower, mm -hmm. right? If your game isn't as good as your mouth, and people, you know, you could either fight, you could be, a, you know, you could, you could, you could play ball, you could break dance, when, and, you know, you could do graffiti, you could rhyme and all that stuff, or you could talk shit. Yeah. So if you can keep people away from you by, you know, talking shit, I hone That's my craft. Yeah. Facts. Listen, Javel, I just want to say this. Happy that you're on Golden State Warriors. I'm happy that you've come out of your shell. You let people see the real Javel McGee. I'm happy about your career. I'm happy, what do we call this thing? Parking lot crime. No, no, your, 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 your tail. My rat tail? I hope, I'm, 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 I'm happy you got that thing pumping and I appreciate you coming on and having me on the show. Having you on the show. He tried to take over my show. show. I appreciate you coming on. And I know you have Parking Steph, Lot Chronicles with Michael got, Rappaport. I know you got Steph Curry coming on, but I'm a hard act to follow. <laughs> appreciate my you. Man. Thank you so much. You already know. All right, here we go. It's your boy. JaVale McGee, JaVale McGee's Parking Lot Chronicles. We're obviously in the parking lot. And I got uh, your boy. Oh, that's what it means. Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot. And I got your boy. I, I got a question. I got to just say it right now. Is your first name Wardell or is your middle name Wardell? My first name is Wardell. So this whole time we've been on a real personal level because you call me by my middle name. So, yeah. I've been calling by his middle name this whole time. That's kind of disrespectful of anything. It's crazy. Wardell, Stephen Curry. The second. 50-time MVP, 64-time All-Star. Sounds good. Doing his thing. 
Um, I got a question. How do you feel about what number of All Stars this year? This is number five. Sixty four. So okay. Ninth year, five All Stars. Um, it's pretty solid, and obviously we got four four guys, man. Back to back. We appreciate uh we appreciate the, the squad because we get to represent y'all in LA and do do our thing on that stage. So yes. we have uh, that's history too, by the way. It is. I know. First, first time, time ever do it. Yeah. First Two, time back for, to back, right? Back to first time for organization. Oh. <laughs> I've never hey. seen that much money walk across the street screen in my life. Grab his wallet. No. <laughs> Grab his wallet. Okay. Um. <laughs> first time in NBA history yeah. for a NBA team to have four All Stars twice. That's these guys right here. That's solid. I am a new father. Yes, you are. To a daughter. Uh huh. Any advice? It's for a man that has two daughters. Well, we in California, so I know the the, uh, the gun law is a little strict, <laughs> but we got to figure out a way to. We have, to. <laughs> have but to. Uh, I mean, you know, your, your, your girl is gonna be a daddy's girl. From, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure she already is mm -hmm. from day one, and it's only gonna get better. So once she starts talking, having personality, attitude, all that stuff, you just gotta take it, man, and and, and appreciate it, and and and, get, and give her that confidence as she gets older. Cause right. once she hits, I'm at five and two, right? So five-year-old, she's sassy, she, she she challenges you, which I want, I want her to have that confidence. Exactly. But. First, funny story, my daughter learned how to shake her head like this, so she was just doing it, and we were just so concerned. We was like, oh my God, something's wrong with our daughter. She's shaking her head, literally. Hey, what the heck? Back to the story. Hey, man. Hey, you just keep disrespecting the parking lot chronicles like this. Okay, back to the story. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Back to the story. Uh, my daughter's shaking her head. We're like, oh, something's wrong with her. Take her to the doctor. She, the doctor looks at us like, she just learned how to shake her head. <laughs> We're just like, That's oh. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Tell us about the shoes. You just had a new one come out, right? We did. I got the Curry 4, mm -hmm. mids and the lows. So uh, trying to, trying to you know, evolve the shoe game. Um, Thanks. We've uh, I've been in signature shoes for three years now. It's kind of nice. crazy. It's, it seems like it was a forever ago, but the fourth edition, the best one we've had yet. So we're just trying to continue to build. Are these it right here? These are right here. So these are well just these are the, kick it into these the, the screen. The, the, the C4 these are the lows, for us. you know what I'm saying? Um, Facts. So we we're trying to. Well, these are cool because the, the the monotone. I see like the that. fit. The whole. Let me just move out the way. <laughs> the Look knit. at the the all green with the camo. This, this bag's Facts. throwing me off. Be <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the one thing I never understood about camo is, is it camouflaging anything? Are you trying to hide your head right now? Yeah, I need a haircut, that's why. Okay, facts. <laughs> I appreciate young Wardell coming on the show, spicing up my life on the P PLC. Talk to him, talk to him. Thank you for coming, bro. No problem. Appreciate you. It's a nice suit, too. I'm still. You know what I'm <laughs> it's your boy, JaVel McGee, back in the building. I'm with my sibling. Favorite. Imani McGee staff. Doing her thing, WNBA, Atlanta Dream. Gorgeous, tall young lady. Look at that. Ooh. Watch, watch, Ooh, watch yourself now. Ooh, gas me. Watch yourself now. I'm single. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't like that. Don't, don't <laughs> thumbs down for that, okay? Uh, all right, money. How does it feel being in the WNBA? Your mother was in the WNBA. Your brother's in the NBA. Just, Speak, speak about it. Speak um, about it. it's really cool. I'm a legacy. I'm the first ever WNBA daughter. Facts. Um, everybody knows me as your little sister. Big facts. I actually went to Israel and was like really excited. I had a great game, dropped oh, like 2015, uh -huh. and somebody, this kid, was running me down like, oh my god, oh my god, you're Jabal McGee's sister. Wow. <laughs> How does it feel to be a six seven? I'm six seven, yeah. Six, six seven, seven woman. What do people say? I, I know from a seven foot man, but just for the fans out there. And the, and the tall, matter of fact, let's inspire the tall <laughs> girls out there who are watching this show. Tell them about yourself, girl. So I'm 6'7". Mm -hmm. I've been this tall since I was like 13. Mm, big facts. Very, She's very true. Big facts. Um, I dunked the ball for the first time when I was 14, before he did. She did. She was more dunked before he did. at the time. At the time, true. Um, and it's great being tall. I love it. Um, I wear heels. So, you know, unless you're on a date with a guy that's shorter than you, go ahead and put them heels on. You already told on, girl. I love being tall. The only thing I, I get annoyed when people are awkward about it. Yeah. Like, I get people like, All how tall you. are you? I don't know you. Yeah, why I don't know. Why are you touching, touching me? me? Yeah. Uh, I get the whole, like, I'm sitting down enjoying my life. Like, can you stand up? Can you stand I can't. up and take a picture? I can't no, stand up. I just want to no. eat my food in no. peace. 
Yeah, that's not fun. I also get sir a lot. Like, full, I'll have my hair like blown out, like killing it, being a whole dress. <laughs> and cats will be like, excuse me, sir. Sir. Oh my bad, oh God, hi. Yeah, I had another question. It was right here at the tip of my tongue. Who's a better child, forehead. me? A better child? Me. We, we can ask. I'm the better the, child. I'm, big Pam? Who's the better can child? You, can, you, can you answer this question? Yell it out loud, please. Say Imani, say the truth. Right, who's the better it. child? I hate the jacket. What do you mean when you say better child? Nah, you already like, know the who answer. Who is the trouble when Wait, the trouble whoa, child. whoa, whoa. If we're talking about who was the better behaved child, it was First you. of all, but who's the more these are my children. This is my firstborn, and this is my baby. We, we didn't know that. that. We, we both just, have we your just, last name. We you know guys this. just brought me in, and I'm your mother. We know. You guys still tell Everyone me. knows this. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. You think people don't know I was the first WNBA? WNBA, NBA, blah, blah, duo, WBA, WBA, Everyone. duo. Everyone knows. What? So we don't need an introduction. Please take off the jacket. <laughs> Second of all, who was the okay, best first of all, child? You look like James Brown. God. This is my favorite coat. JaVale hates it, but I am. Arson is illegal, right? Who was the better child? I Me. think both of y'all were better. Oh, my God. Bye. Get out. Bye. Bye. The answer Still is for those of you guys answer. that were I'm wondering, it's Imani. Child. I appreciate young sister coming on the show. Imani McGee Stafford. Where pulling up name? on Parking Lot Chronicles. Hashtag her. Go to her Instagram. Same name. Yep. Imani Shashan. Google it. Try it out. Hugs. Thank you for coming. Pure love. OK, um, come on in there. This jacket get on in is here, here get also. On, get on in here. <laughs> Group hug. Shout out to my mom. Group hug. Mm -hmm. Oh, we we'll kiss this, too. Oh, no, you got <laughs> lipstick on. Appreciate you guys watching Parking Lot Chronicles. This is the eighth episode. We're moving. Everybody loves it. Uh, leave comments. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, JaVel McGee, on YouTube. Um, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Keep watching. Peace.